Hi, I'm Ryan Oger, and today we're gonna to be wiring up a heat pump system. Most of you guys have wired up AC before, so heat pump will be a little bit different. This is a split system, most heat pumps are. This one happens to be combined with a natural gas furnace, although it could be combined with an air handler, electric heat, something like that. But this one happens to be tied to a gas furnace. So we'll uh, wire up the stat, we'll wire up the furnace, and we'll come back here and we'll wire up the, uh, the heat pump. The biggest thing on a heat pump is that we have a reversing valve in there. So this unit can operate in both the heating and the cooling mode. So the refrigerant, instead of leaving the compressor and going to the condenser coil to reject its heat, it leaves the compressor and goes to the indoor coil to give us its heat. We're downstairs at the thermostat here. All right, we have wiring terminals on here that are very similar to what we do on an AC, but this is gonna be slightly different because it's the heat pump. So what's the same? C for common, R for hot, same. G for fan, same. Y, pretty much the same. The wire is the same, but now just think of Y meaning compressor and not necessarily a cool call. Because when the thermostat wants heat from the heat pump, it'll energize Y. When the thermostat wants cooling from the heat pump, it'll also energize Y. So Y energizes the compressor, whether it's for heating or cooling, but a wire is just like an AC would. That leaves us our heating and our reversing valve that are a little bit different. Normally on this model of stat, the white wire going to my gas fired furnace or my electric heater and my air handler would wire over to W1 and we would be done with it. But because we have a heat pump, that white wire moves over to W2. It's not a second stage of your furnace. It just happens to go to that terminal on this brand of stat. Every brand of stat is different. It could be, for example, the white wire would go to W1 and the reversing valve would have its own terminals not shared with W1. But in this case, white goes to W2, and I have this other one that says W1 slash O slash B. And I have to pick one of those three things for it to mean. So my reversing valve in orange is gonna wire to there. It's not gonna be a W1, we're not gonna use it that way. We will configure in the thermostat to make it be a heat pump and not W1. Then I gotta pick O or B. O or B historically stands for orange or blue, which are the two types of reversing valve wiring colors we historically had. Every model of heat pump either runs in cooling and we have to reverse it to heating or it runs in heating or we have to reverse it to cooling. That's why there's an O or a B. Over the years, thermostat manufacturers made that all be one terminal and then in the stat, either in the screens or on jumpers, you make it be which one you need. So you have to know the kind of heat pump you have outside in order to configure the stat. You don't need to know it for wiring, you need to know it for configuring later on. So we have all these guys set up on here. Let's go take a look at the furnace. We're over here at the furnace. We have wires coming from the stat into the furnace and then from the furnace back outside to the heat pump. If it was a fan coil or air handler, it'd be the exact same scenario instead of a furnace. We just have a fan coil here, but it would work fundamentally the same way. So that's these two sets of brown thermostat wire here coming in. So right here from the upstairs, I have the wires that we just did, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six wires. I already got red yellow, white, black, and green set up on those designated terminals. There's nowhere on this board, if you can see, there's nowhere to land the orange wire. There's no O or B reversing valve. The furnace doesn't know anything about a heat pump. It doesn't know that that, that exists and it doesn't know anything to do with it in terms of control purposes. Coming, going out to the outdoor unit, I have white, black, yellow, and red, four wires, and then orange for the reversing valve. So it's six coming in, five going out, because the heat pump outside doesn't care about the fan. It doesn't need to know anything about that. So it's six wires from the stat down to the furnace, including the fan, and it's only five wires continuing outside. Now, the two reversing valve wires, the one from the thermostat asking for the reversing valve, and the one from the heat pump receiving the reversing valve, since they don't go to the circuit board, they need to be wire nutted together. That's how we connect those two together. So now the thermostat has a pathway for all five of its heat pump wires to make it from the stat all the way to the outdoors. Four of those five happen to be landing on the furnace also. We're back out here at the outdoor unit. Obviously it's not outside today, it's in a lab for our video shoot. But in any case, this is an outdoor unit. This is the heat pump, as we said. I got two panels off. I got the electrical panel, which we obviously have to have off to wire, but we took an extra panel off just so we can point out that there's a reversing valve in here. That's the major component difference between the heat pump and the AC. It's this brass color device. It's got three pipes on one side, one on the other. 
Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same as the AC. So we're gonna wire this up. We can either go to the inside door to get the wiring diagram, or we can look on this circuit board and see the colors matched up, O, R, W, 2, Y, and C. So our thermostat wire is following the piping around, coming in the bottom of that electrical enclosure, and we have these five wires that we've connected up here. So we have Y for the compressor call from the thermostat, like we always have on an AC or a heat pump. And then we have black in this case as our common wire. A lot of times we use white on a regular AC, but in this case, we're gonna be using black because uh, that's what we did the whole thermostat setup as. So white and black on a heat pump. And then I have these other three wires here. Orange is the reversing valve. So when the thermostat wants cooling, it's gonna energize a signal on Y and it's gonna energize one on orange because this model of heat pump defaults to heat. So if I want cooling, it has to reverse it. If the thermostat wants heating, it would just energize yellow for the Y for the compressor. If it wants cooling, it energizes Y and orange. Some brands of heat pump are the opposite. That's the way most do it, but some do it the opposite and they default to cooling and you energize the reversing valve if you want heat. It just depends on where the heat pump manufacturer evolved from over the decades and its climate zone and whether they were more concerned about heating or cooling as a priority. So that's these guys here. Compressor call, common, reversing valve. That leaves these other two wires here, which is white and red. White is heat in this case, and red is my uh, 24 volt power. Now, sometimes you need 24 volt power on the heat pump just to power up the circuit board, but even if you have one that doesn't need any power from the circuit board on there, you still need the red wire in most applications. These two, we're gonna work together, the red and the W, are gonna work together. So when this unit goes into the defrost mode, this unit will make a contact closure between R and white to turn on the indoor heating system, meaning the gas furnace or electric heating coil. So heat pumps, because the indoor coil becomes the condenser and this outdoor coil becomes the evaporator, they change jobs. Condensation can form on this coil. If it forms on this coil, when it's below freezing outside, now it's gonna frost the heat pump up. So it has a defrost mode. Defrost mode means it runs in cooling mode temporarily, which means this coil gets hot and thaws. When we do that, we, dispo we distribute cold air on the indoor side and nobody wants cold air in the middle of the winter. So when the heat pump goes into defrost, it energizes your other auxiliary heating source temporarily to make sure we don't get any air that's cold blowing on people on the inside. So once again, Y is for the compressor heating or cooling call. Orange is the reversing valve to flip it from heating to cooling or vice versa. Black in this case is common, red is hot, and white is my heat uh, relay back out. So I need all five of these wires for most heat pumps. If I had a two-stage heat pump, I would have an additional sixth wire on here. Wiring up a heat pump is very similar to wiring an AC. The two major things you have to think about that's differently is you have that reversing valve wire on the thermostat. So you need one more wire at the thermostat than you normally have. That reversing valve wire is not very likely gonna terminate on your indoor furnace or air handler. It's gonna just get wire knotted together and skip its way outside. And then outside, we're typically gonna have five or six wires instead of two or three wires on there. So you need the ability to energize the heat during the defrost mode. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same as wiring up an AC.